Yo, what is going on guys? In today's video, we are once again back at Kalanor RSPS today. And boys, today the first commenter is gonna be walking away with a $10 bond. And also on top of that, for the main giveaway, we are gonna be giving away 3 owner boxes. So to be entered in the giveaway, make sure to like the video, comment your in-game name, subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notifications, comment join my personal Discord, and also add me on Snapchat, FBK merc without space and that is all you guys have to do good luck and i hope you guys will enjoy the video let's get started all right boys so in today's video we are gonna be checking out brand new halloween updates of kalanor that is going to be the plan so let's see how it is going to go and yes that's what we will do in today's video first of all let's check out the update threads and yeah then i will also show you guys some cool Halloween content in game as well. It's been quite some time since I made a video at Kalanor, so I actually have three update threads to showcase to you guys. But first of all, they added a bingo system and they also did some patch notes at October 13. So let's check it out. As you guys can see, Kevin has coded an automated bingo system for the players. And the way it works is that there is a bingo interface with several items on it. And players have to get those items as a drop in order to mark that spot as completed. You get rewards for each row completed. And when the event ends, the top three people with the most points will get a mega reward. So have a look at that, boys. That is a very, very cool system. That Kalanor RSPS now has. And then they also did some batch notes as well. Then also the Halloween event update thread as well. October 21st. Let's check it out, boys. The home area has been reskinned to have a spooky theme throughout the duration of the Halloween event. As you guys can see, there is a cool spooky theme. The home is looking very cool, in my opinion. It is looking very spooky. And I really love the Halloween theme that... Kalanor made to their home area. It looks super nice in my opinion. And let's have a look right over here. A portal has been added to the home area that will take you to the Halloween event areas. Dracula has a small guest for you to complete. And after the guest, you will unlock the BVM zone where you can earn some cool Halloween items. Next to the portal is the Halloween chest that can be unlocked with Halloween event keys. Completion of the guest gives 5 keys and more can be obtained from the Halloween BVM zone after the guest. So that is super cool. Let's see. New Halloween event boss. You know, there are the basic attacks, the AoE attack, the shadows, healing phases. That's how it looks like. It looks super cool. Oh my god, have a look at that, boys. That's how the new Halloween boss looks like. Then also rewards for completing the Dracula's guest. You will get a skeleton costume as well as also five Halloween geese to open on the Halloween chest. You will also be able to access the Halloween event BVM zone, which looks like that. And these dead monsters have some nice drops, as you guys can see. Epic boxes, legendary boxes, mythic boxes, Halloween tokens, Black Halloween, Head Pet, Head Grasp, etc. And Halloween tokens can be earned from the feeding, the monsters at the BVM zone, and, uh, you know, the Halloween tokens can be spent at Dracula's shop. And in this shop, you can purchase Halloween geese, some ghoul cosmetics, and even a Head Pet. So have a look at that, boys. That's how the... Halloween event shop looks like. And let's see what else, boys. The Ted's Grasp as well. One of the rarest rewards from the Halloween event chest. Or if you are extremely lucky, you could receive it as a drop from the Ted monsters at the Halloween event BVM zone. This weapon double hits and has stats slightly lower than the Osmutens Fang Or. So have a look at that, boys. These are the attack bonuses, etc. That's how it looks like. And then also the Trigor site upgrade as well. A new item has been added into their store. The Trigor site attachment. Combining this attachment with the Trigor site will create uh, site of madness. Have a look at that boys. A new donator rank tier has also been added to the game. And it is called the Deluxe Donator Rank. So as you guys can see here are some nice perks that this donator rank gives you. And when you obtain the rank you will also receive a box that unlocks the factory outfit. Which looks like that, so so that is very cool. And yeah, Kalanor actually has these cool costumes that you can wear on top of your armor, and these look very cool. There we have another update thread. Halloween event world boss, starter tasks, and also bug fixes. Let's see. 
In this week's update, we are releasing a new world boss for the Halloween event, a task system for new players to obtain some decent starter equipment and some QOL changes and also bug fixes. So starter tasks and also equipment to help new players. They have added nine tasks for players to complete in exchange for some decent gear and some coins. The starter gear will last for 5,000 attacks and 10 will degrade to dust. Uh, the interface can be opened by typing colon colon starter and yeah right over here you will have some tasks to complete for example kill 25 rock crabs etc and yeah there are also nice rewards have a look at that boys a very very cool starter armor and also bow and these are the stats that they give holy shit the new starter gear is actually very powerful and yeah these uh, starter tasks are also very cool let's see halloween event world boss as well that's how you can access it, the Halloween world boss will spawn every 2 hours and every 25 votes. Every player who deals at least 200 damage to the boss is eligible to receive a drop. And the mechanics are pretty straightforward, prayer flick the auto attacks and avoid the shadows on the floor. They will spawn flames that deal rapid damage. So yes, range attack, magic attack, uh, special explosion attack, 3 times 3 area. And then they also did some bug fixes and QOL changes as well. So massive, massive new updates at Kalanor. Alright boys, so me and Dance, we will now go and kill the Halloween event world boss. So that is going to be the plan boys. Let's see how it is going to go. And yes, let's see how it looks like. So we will type in HWB in game and then we will be teleported to the Halloween boss right here. And as you guys can see, Ains is already killing it. And that's how the... Halloween boss looks like it is right over here. So yes, boys, let's try to get it killed. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get any lucky from here. And as you guys can see, we can get all these rare loots. Even the Ted's Grasp from the Halloween event world boss. So let's see how it is going to go. And all right, all right, guys, we got some Halloween tokens right over here. 66 Halloween tokens and also donator boxes as well. So that's what we managed to get, boys. And as you guys can see right over here, we also have the Halloween event portal. And you can also teleport to the Halloween BBM zone once you have completed the Dracula's guest. And uh, as you guys can see, you can also teleport to the Dracula. And uh, you will be able to start the Dracula guest right here. I have already completed it on another account, so I can't do that again. But yeah, there is the Halloween event shop, etc. And uh, yes, it is looking absolutely lovely, boys. Look at that. And as you guys can see right over here, we also have the Ted's Grasp as well, which is a very, very rare item at the current moment at Kalanor. And that's how the Ted's Grasp looks like. It is very, very cool. And as you can see, it also gives insane stats as well. So yeah, that's the... Let's grasp right here. All right, we also have some Halloween keys right over here. So let's open up the Halloween chest. Let's open up a few and see what we will land on. As you guys can see, we are getting some drop rate scrolls, superior plates, etc. All right, all right, epic boxes. So yes, these are the beautiful Halloween keys right over here. And you can open up them at home on the Halloween chest. So yeah, that's how you can open up the Halloween keys. Getting some more epic boxes right here. Easy, busy, and yeah. That's how the loots are looking like from the Halloween chest. Let's also check out the new starter interface that Kalanor added. And as you guys can see, these are the Kalanor starter tasks right here. With various different tasks for you guys to complete. And yeah, then you can get yourself the beautiful starter ranged bow. Also the starter ranged armor. And also some cash as well. So it is very worth it. Make sure to check out the Kalanor starter tasks. And get yourself this very, very good gear. Pretty much for free, so yeah, make sure to check it out. Alright boys, so we are now going to be wrapping up my today's video at Kalanor. I hope you guys all enjoyed and I hope to see you guys all online at Kalanor with a link down below in the video's description. See you guys in the next one and peace out everybody.